Human organs grown in animals? Scientists have created human-sheep hybrids in hopes of one day growing human organs in animals. Researchers in California are working on reducing organ transplant rejections by using sheep and pig embryos to grow human organs. Scientists introduce adult stem cells into early-stage sheep embryos and then return them to the sheep to grow for three more weeks. They achieved sheep embryos where one in every 10,000 cells was human. In the U.S. last year, 34,770 organ transplants were performed, while 115,035 people are currently waiting for a transplant. Around 20 people die daily waiting for transplants. The research is still in its preliminary stages, but the scientists are optimistic that humans will one day receive organs grown in animals. Want more medical? Keep watching. Man in vegetative state responds to treatment. After being in a vegetative state for 15 years, a French man is showing some signs of consciousness after neurosurgeons implanted a vagus nerve stimulator in his chest. Researchers wanted to test the ability of vagus nerve stimulation to restore consciousness in a person in a vegetative state. Vagus nerve stimulation begins with implanting a device in the chest and running a wire under the skin. This wire connects the vagus nerve and the device. The device sends electrical pulses along the nerve to the brainstem, which in turn transmits these impulses to certain brain areas. Researchers found that after one month of stimulation, the patient's attention, movements, and brain activity significantly improved. The scientists are now planning a larger study to confirm and extend the potential of vagus nerve stimulation. Skin problems? Might want to check your bathroom. A growing number of people are getting painful skin allergies, and it's all thanks to a chemical found in everyday personal products. MI is a preservative used to prevent unwanted bacteria growth in a wide range of bath and beauty products. Though labeled safe and non-toxic, higher concentrations of the substance have been known to irritate the skin and cause a type of eczema known as contact dermatitis. Symptoms include an itchy red rash that can form blisters or become dry, cracked, and scaly. Topical medication can alleviate symptoms, but curing the inflammation usually involves avoiding the irritant completely. Although Europe has since restricted the use of MI, the substance is still allowed in the U.S., where it's listed as an ingredient, even in products advertised as hypoallergenic. Tree Man No More It may have taken a year and an insane number of surgeries, but this Bangladeshi man couldn't be happier to finally have his hands and feet back. A rare disease caused lesions to appear on the man's skin at the age of 10. They worsened over time and made it difficult for him to make a living as a rickshaw driver. Soon, bark-like growths started sprouting from his hands and feet, making it impossible to do anything except scratch his neck. The 27-year-old was dubbed Tree Man by the international media and is one of only four people in the world to ever be diagnosed with the disease. Doctors in Dhaka offered to treat him free of charge and moved him and his family to the hospital last February to begin the first of many surgeries. 16 operations later, doctors have removed 11 pounds of growth and restored Tree Man's hands. He'll still need a few more surgeries to pretty up his digits, but now he can at least eat, write, and hold his daughter. 